Hey everybody, it's Ken Howard here from CSG Pro. Today I'm going to show you a new feature in Visual Studio Code version 1.7.2 and that is automatic type acquisition. In addition, I'm going to also show you the JS doc uh, comment format that will enhance your JavaScript to give you uh, some type definitions. Um, so to get started, I'm going to go ahead and initialize a package.json and this is required for automatic type acquisition. Um, if you don't use uh, package.json, you won't ha get the benefits of automatic type acquisition. So in order to uh, start using a definition file, I'm going to go ahead and npm install uh, request, which is just a package that I want to use in my project. And uh, what happens with Visual Studio Code and automatic type acquisition is it's going to see that uh, package in my uh, package.json and it's going to go out and, out and fetch the definition files from definitely typed. Definitely typed is a repository for TypeScript definitions. It's a community supported repository um, and it's pretty robust. So um, in my index.js file I'm going to go ahead and create a const request equals require request now this is going to trigger Visual Studio Code to go ahead and check that uh, TypeScript definition in. So if I hover over the request key, uh, variable name, I can see already that I have the type definitions. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I know that there's a get method on this, but if you do, don't know what methods are available on request, you can actually just uh, type in the variable name and hit dot and the TypeScript language service will go ahead and throw you, show you all the available methods and, and uh, properties. So I'm going to go ahead and use the get method and pass in the URL for CSG Pro's website, csgpro.com, and then go ahead and create a callback function. Now, the callback function uh, has a set of parameters, but we're not seeing those here in any sort of IntelliSense. So I'm going to go ahead and go to definition here, which is going to open up another file, index.d.ts. So if you hover over that, you can see where uh, it's got the file in like the library for TypeScript. So it, it didn't put it in our project, it put it in uh, a TypeScript folder. So if I uh, right click on uh, request callback, which is what I'm trying to define, I can see that the first parameter is error, second parameter is response, and the third parameter is body. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and throw those up here. Response, body. Okay, now what I want to do is log out console.log, and as you see I can type uh, methods and TypeScript is looking them up as I type. So I'm going to go ahead and type in response dot and it's going to show me what's available for response and I'm going to do status code. Okay so I've got two options when I start in, type in the word stat um, and I'm just going to hit tab on the first one because that's what I wanted and then close it out with a semicolon and now go down here to the console and type in node index.js and I've got a status code of 200 which is exactly what I want. So that's automatic type acquisition. It goes out and grabs the the project definition files for you and uh, it makes them available to you right when you start typing so that's perfect. Uh, next I'm going to show you the JS doc uh, comment format which will allow you to add types to your code um, so that you can use uh, some strong typing while you're while you're programming. So um, I'm going to create a function called get last four, and it's going to have a parameter of message. And in TypeScript, we create a type with a semicolon and the type after that. Or sorry, not a semicolon, a colon and a type. But because this is JavaScript, I can't have my types in line, so I'm going to go ahead and create a JS doc format. So the comment is um, formatted as so, param with the at sign, 
And in curly braces, I type in the type of uh, what the parameter is going to be and the parameter name, so parameters message. And I can even go a little bit further and type in some comments. The string we extract the last four characters from. Very verbose, but that's okay. Now if I put my mouse over message, I know that it's a type string, and then I also get my comment there. So uh, one other thing here is we're gonna we're gonna console.log this console.log and message dot slice. So that's what we would use if this were a string. But if it if it happened to be a number, just follow me here for a second. So slice does not exist on a number. So if I type in slice, it's not gonna give me any IntelliSense at all. So we type in string and we're back to where this is a string and we can use slice and we're gonna take the last four and that's it. So save that, let's go down here, get last four and show me last four. Now we'll expect this to show four in the console. We'll go down here, type in node index.js, and it shows me the last four. Perfect. So we know now that this function get last four has a type uh, with a parameter of type string, and it also shows you the return type. I don't know if you noticed that, but the colon void at the end of that shows you that the function does not have a return type, so it exits silently. Um, so that's it. That is automatic type acquisition and JS doc format. You can use these today if you're using Visual Studio Code 1.7.2 on a JavaScript project. I highly encourage you to use it, and if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, um, leave some comments below, or uh, you can reach me on Twitter, Ken Howard PDX, or on GitHub, Ken Howard PDX. Um, if you like this video, please share it with your friends, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.